Once he says he's rolling. Ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Catherine, um, and I, I love the show. I fell into it uh, because when Mumbi first produced it, she needed someone to help her out with selling tickets and stuff like that, and I thought, oh, well, okay, she's going to talk about vaginas. I suppose I can help her sell tickets. And then somebody chickened out at the last minute, and I ended up on stage. And I love this show. I felt its power as I watched the rehearsals. I saw people's lives change. And I think that women are made to feel shame for things that they should never, ever feel shame for, um, ranging from being women to our bodies functioning in the ways that they function, the fact that we can give birth, the fact that we can give life, the, and, and the terrible abuses that are committed against women. Um, and we don't often have a voice, we don't often have a platform. And I, I would not not do this show. I think it's really important for young women to know that they should celebrate themselves they are beautiful and they are created in God's image and the universe is theirs. They must embrace it and they must say no to anybody who tells them that that is not the case. So how do you think that this show can impact the prevalence of violence against women? I've also seen the impact of this show on men. Um, when I was helping Mumbi with the tickets, we made a mistake on the poster and my number, my phone number, ended up on the poster. And I got irate phone calls from all kinds of people. I remember a young man, I think he was a young man, he was a single father, he told me he woke me up yelling down my phone, how can you do this? <laughs> he was Kenyan, <laughs> clearly. And his, he asked me, are you Kenyan? And I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, you probably come from Westlands then. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> so I, so he, he said, what is he supposed to do with this? There it is in the newspaper, this word and this book, and he has a child to raise. What is he supposed to say to his little boy? At the breakfast table, this thing is there. And I, I said to him, you, you must tell him that a vagina is a body part. It is a body part like an elbow and a neck and a nose and he must know the names of things so that he too can never feel ashamed or use the wrong word or make somebody else feel shame. And this man, he, he listened, he listened to me and he sort of said something like, okay, fine. And then he hung up and I asked him whether he would come to the show, but I, I don't know whether he ever did. Um, I know that my brothers came to the show I never had the courage to say the word vagina to my father, um, so I, I never invited him to the show. Um, but he knew I, the, that, that year I was living at home and I was leaving home every evening to go and do these rehearsals and be in a play and I wasn't telling him what the play was called. I'm sure he asked my mother and I'm sure my mother told him. Um, so I, I didn't know that I'm going off topic, but I didn't know that my mother would support something like this. And when I told her what the play was and why I was, I didn't even have to tell her why it was important. Um, she said to me, do you, know the, do you know the word for vagina in our language? And I said, no. And she said, of course you don't. I've never told you. This is the word, and she told me the word. Um, I don't know what it is. I forgot, and um, I lost my mother in May, and I'm doing this show. I'm doing this show for mommy, so it's it's an important show. Yeah, it's Thank important you. to me. You're welcome. Great.